I did the math yesterday, and my average friend is 15 years my senior. Here I stand, 22 years of age, and I hang out with people who have kids and mortgages. Yet I prefer it that way. I was homeschooled from the 4th to the 7th grade. Then in the 8th grade, I went back to public school. I remember my first day in public school, it was Halloween of 8th grade. I remember walking into my first class, a history class, and looking around at the kids. Many of the kids I recognized, but I hadn't seen them for years. I expected to pick up with them where we had left off, but that did not happen. I didn't fit in with many of the kids that I once considered my closest friends. I looked for a new friend group when I got to high school, but that was not met with much success. During that period of my life, I spent a lot of time thinking about what went wrong when I re-entered the public school system. I couldn't fit in with the jocks even though I was on the football team, and I couldn't fit in with the nerds even though I was taking the AP courses. It always bugged me. I'd see my older brother be homeschooled just like me and hop right back into the social circle of public school, but why not me? Why couldn't I find my footing like he did? Much of my early high school career turned into me trying to play catch up, attempting to conform myself to the status quo. I didn't know it at the time, but I was attempting to live out the character of a high school student that I saw presented to me on the TV. A presentation that I saw played out each and every day by the students who surrounded me in school. I told myself I needed to be like them. I told myself I needed to have what they had. But there was no hiding that I was not like the rest. I was the six-year-old kid who took the time to mark on his calendar two weeks in advance because Apple was having a press event. I was then the kid who went to the library and sat down at a Windows XP computer to watch Steve Jobs introduce this new device called an iPad. A device I dreamed would change my school life if only I could afford to buy it. $499 plus tax was the world of money for a 16-year-old kid. Later that year, I got a job working 30 hours a week making sandwiches and washing dishes. All of a sudden, I was surrounded with people who were in college or college graduates. I found an environment where, although I was still very much a minor in the eyes of the law, there were adult-level expectations of me. I couldn't act like I was a 16-year-old high school student who just got out of class 13 minutes before my shift started, even though I was a 16-year-old high school student who just got out of class 13 minutes before my shift started. Starting that job at Panera Bread is where at the age of 16, I began to give up all cost and concern for the accolades of high school. I didn't realize it at the time, but the people you associate yourself with and you surround yourself with will have a major impact on your life. In my case, I was working with coworkers who were more mature than me and in a completely different phase of their life compared to me. Little to their knowledge, just by me, interacting with them and working with them, I was privy to learn about aspects of life I had not previously been exposed to. I learned about college life from college students. I learned about a life without a degree from my 52-year-old coworker. At Panera Bread, I was introduced to aspects and lessons about life that the average high school student doesn't take the time to think about because they are not exposed to an environment in which such lessons could possibly make sense. I would go back to school every day and slowly realized that the more I worked, the less I fit in with my fellow students. I went on to finish high school without finding my group of people. I even did a couple years of college, but didn't fit in there either. It wasn't until I found my career of working in the film industry that I was able to find a peer group. I found it because I work in an industry where weirdos and misfits, the people who don't make traditional sense, have the ability to prosper where fitting in and looking like the rest has no place of its own. I'm realizing now, in hindsight, not fitting in worked out in my favor. Not having a peer group to make me comfortable and complacent helped to kickstart my life at an early age. At 16, I was surrounded by coworkers whose lifestyles forced me to ask bigger questions, such as do I want to spend the remainder of my high school career crafting the perfect extracurricular resume so I can experience that movie-esque college experience, only to graduate without knowledge of how to handle one's own finances or how to weather through tough times? Or do I want to craft a skill set that is irreplaceable by any one shift in the market or by termination from an employer? 
a life where residual income and compound interest pay my mortgage and fill my fridge. It's easy for me to talk about my life in retrospect, to look back and make conclusions about how things used to be or could have been. But I believe it helps to ask the question of if I would have found a peer group, if I would have been socially successful in high school like I so desperately fiend for, would I be the person I am today? I used to think, when am I going to catch up and fit in with everyone else? Now I think, when is everyone else going to stop attempting to outpost one another, put down their phones, and wake up to the realization of what a wonderful life this can be? If you only have the courage to be who you were born to be. Free and independent. Oh. Uh. Macadelic. I'm in a room filled with holographic images. Path is limitless. Death with that's ridiculous. I'ma live forever because the legend never dies.